So, Anor Prowess is playing Flame of Anor with Snapcaster, Storm Chaser Mage, and Soul Scar Mage as your Wizards of Choice. I'm only playing two copies because it's a three mana spell on the Prowess deck that's trying to be cheap and efficient. I don't think it's going to be amazing or better than normal Prowess, but I still want to try to make Flame of Anor work because I think it's a sweet card. You know, it's not bad. Torborg, thanks for the tier one. Doing all right. I mean, magic's got going great, but. We're chillin'. How good's the one ring? I think I played a bad shell for the one ring, so I can't tell you exactly. But overall, I'd say it's probably pretty okay. I'm just gonna go prowess through it, prowess through it. Next turn's gonna be pretty explosive. Barring them. Verdicting me in a couple turns. I feel like it's okay. I think the one ring's okay. Since we're not playing the one ring anymore, I had to change my title to the one ding. <laughs> Might be able to win before verdict. See how this pans out. They might counter this Manamorphose. Ice. Alright, deck's not helping me here. Need some help, deck. I don't know, between the One Ring and Marsh Flats? That's tough. Not sure. I'll will myself see if I want to fetch Lavadar. Oh, I absolutely do not want to fetch. Give me that. Mm -hmm. I think I just do the most damage possible to them. Let's put them to one so they can't even fetch. So they're surviving, but are they really surviving? The answer is no, I drew another Lava Dart. Concedes anyways. Bring in Blood Moon against them, maybe some Spell Pierces. That's probably it. Mutagenic Growth can come out against them. It's not very good. Flame of Anor is also not amazing. Lava. Vapor Snags your answer to Merc Tide, since we're not playing the White Splash. We're just playing straight blue red. Have Flame of Anor in every matchup. It's my divination. I'm gonna hate on my divination. It's a little bit land heavy, but I'm gonna keep it. Then Holy Heat's also not good. You have 50 copies of Suspend. Man, if only Suspend were a good card. I say as I register Storm Chaser Mage. Classic hypocritical dingo. I'm actually going to go fetch out my island because I have Blood Moon. Oust, by the way. I was just sick though. Is it? <laughs> Time to Blood Moon. Solitude. Flame on, flame off. We lost our human torch. Nar said. How am I supposed to draw cards now? What the hell? <laughs> Not fair. Guess I have to kill it. And I'm just gonna take this opportunity to draw too. Another tapped out counter spell. <laughs> this is not fair. Russian guy at a carnival. I already counted this iteration almost assuredly. But I gotta get the counter spell out of their hand one way or another. And let's me by Gigantha. Am 
my shirt showing support for the EU. No, this is a Happy Chaos shirt from Guilty Gear. Although it could be. Pending. My moon. My Giganta Arts bed. Come on. Come on. It's not that bad. Just like ultra thinned my deck. I don't think Moose is honk. Do they? They do, you're a Mooseologist. Show me your license and certification. Oh shit. Mm, I probably need to cycle this now. Uh oh. There's only one fetchable left also. Well, oh, I flooded. <laughs> They're in Canadian, so you can't read them anyways. I bet you they apologized to you when they handed it to them. Handed it to you. They're like, I'm sorry for what's about to happen. Here's your Mooseologist certification. Yeah, I'm probably out of lands. Nope. I'm not out of lands. You know, it'd be great here at Underworld Breach. Well, good thing we have a Snapcaster Mage instead. Look at that. Look at that. It's about to be so good when it gets countered. <laughs> I heard you was talking shit. Hmm. I guess we'll flash in Snapcaster. They're just going to counter him, though. Alright, expressive iteration, Snapcaster Mage, let's go. Chalice on one. Oh, I've lost this game. Well, wow, that's just, you know, another Steam Vents, or Scalding Thorn. Guess we need some Shattering Sprees. Cut the Unholy Heat, and we'll cut a Manamorphose. 11 turns, 11 lands. I should play control, because I never I never miss my land drops until I play control. Then I miss my land drops. Sorry, Snapcaster. You're not good enough here. Blood Moon's still probably good against them, because there's some draws that they have that just can't play around it. But yeah, we did already gain our equity. Yeah, I need to cut lands. Drew too many of those. What's this game called? It's called The Worst Thing You'll Ever Play. Also known as Magic the Gathering. Ending. Yeah, I shouldn't use my blue fetch. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, it's pretty up there. I'm just doing all the damage to them. One hyper aggro. Death time. And now I don't hit my lands. Mm. Mm. Let's take out of three blanks. Ooh, 
I love it when the iteration draws me an iteration. Now, that's on my list of things to try, though. Do you want to try the one ring in four color? A blue red flame sprite snap. Yeah, there goes our shattering spree, by the way. Ooh, flame of an ore. But shoot it too. Yeah, Chalice 1 is uh, pretty good. Still have one more Shattering Spree in the deck, though. Also, Flame of Anord destroys an artifact, so... I don't know if keeping this was correct. We're a little bit lacking on threats right now. I think I played both of these baubles in an attempt to find more threats. Another Manamorphose. They're playing Living End, alright. Yeah, Living End's been everywhere. I'm gonna take the Manamorphose. <laughs> the last mutagenic growth. Excellent. Why are you hating, Torbor? I think I wait. Because I could surprise kill them out of nowhere next turn if they don't have Violent Outburst. But they probably do. I have triple mutagenic. I don't know if I'm beating Living End anyways. To be honest. Yeah, we have lethal, but we're probably going to lose. <laughs> Surely. Surely they don't have living end, right? Gotta make them comfortable. No, 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 no. Oh, they have living end. Also, don't call me Shirley. I'm so tired of you calling me Shirley. I think we can't win this game anymore. Gonna bring in all those, the Soul Guide Lanterns. Out Flame of Anor, out Snapcaster, out Mutagenic Growth, Unholy Heat. Lavadar's not that good either. I guess Snapcaster's fine. Maybe Lavadar's kinda like mid. Got two Lava Darts. Lava. Yeah, we have a lot of uh a lot of post board hate. Bunch of fluster, spell pierces, soul guide lantern, blood boon. I think Vapor Snag helps. I think if they resolve a living end, we lose anyways. So I don't really want Vapor Snag. Mulligan, not good enough. I think this is good enough. Try the turn one Soul Guide Lantern. Might force this. Fortunately, that was our only piece of hate right now. Play Storm Chaser. Oh, another one. Alright, we're playing another one. I thought for sure we were going to play Storm Chaser Mage that turn, but Soul Guide Lantern said otherwise. I don't think they brought an FOV against us. They could have. I iterate for some lands, and then miss on lands, and then be like, why did I iterate? I don't want to show them the Blood Moon, because I have one in my hand. If I show them one, they'll probably play around it. Benini, if you ask me why did you iterate, why do you either have all the lands or no lands? I don't know, Janini. I'm on life's greatest mysteries. I thought you were going to ask me, why did you iterate? Let's try this again. I hit a land this time. Excellent. Hmm. I think I'm not going to play the Soul Scar Mage, because if I play the Soul Scar Mage out, then they could just, like... I also want Island. But if I play the Soul Scar Mage out, they just go, like, Violent Outburst. And sweep it away and I get nothing. It's all here, black and white, clear as crystal. I get nothing. I lose. 
Now I'm screwed if they have FOB. Still have Violent Outburst. The shots off them cycling and Shardless Agent. I can still cycle Street Wraith. Hmm. I'm just playing out one bind Jugant though. I don't want to overcommit. Another Storm Chaser Mage. Send in with the goons. I think I bolt them also. Yeah, I can't snap EI, but I can't snap bolt. Yeah, they'll probably bring in FOV for game three if they don't have it now. Alright. <clears throat> they scooped. I think we're running it back. Still don't want the vapor snags. Just gonna try to stop them from ever resolving a living in. Or getting anything back if they do resolve a living in. Also just a non-zero chance that they fetch around Blood Moon. Instead of bringing in FOV. No, nah, they definitely bring in FOV because the Soul Guide Lantern too. Mm, gonna have to mulligan this hand. Doesn't do anything. No threat, no hate, no keep. Threat and hate and more hate? They're mulliganing the five. I'll go back to Bobble. Kind of want this expressive iteration. Hey, Risen's. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Bring in all the anti dingo tech. You mean every time I play a control, I queue in the mill? That's pretty good anti dingo tech. Every time. Cycle Street Wraith. They might be missing land drops here if they're doing that. They did not miss another land drop. Start with Soul Guide Lantern. No, it's not a hedge against Ren. It's to uh, give us two modes for Flame of an Ore since Storm Chaser Mage is a wizard. You're a wizard, Storm Chaser? I think I'm playing this other Soul Scar. I might just cast. Vaughn Outburst just to... I didn't even try to sound like Hagrid. True. I got Forest. Duncan Ruins. Pass. I think I'm just playing this Blood Moon. See what they do here. They could have FOV. Or Violent Outburst. Either or. Cycle 1 Manamorphose into EI. I think I might hold on to the other one. Good thing I didn't EI first. I guess they still have a Cascade spell. Can't believe they used their hate against my hate. That's so hateful. Alright, we got there. So far, so good. Yeah, sorry. Magic rainbows. Hagrid, Hagrid. Play on words. Oh, I saw it. It just made me mauled, so I didn't respond to it. Why I oughta... Swifty. What are you playing? Lightning Bolt. And in the alternate universe, we're supposed to be as a wizard. Imagine. The dream. Shocks and a steam vents and bolts. I'm gonna go get my island. Cycle Manamorphose. I got nothing to do with it though. In an alternate world where Soul Scar Beige has haste. The other dream. 
divination incoming. I will divinate. I wonder if he's playing Merc Tide. Janini, get it right. It's instant speed divination. Please. Can I try to downplay the card? I will not stand for that here. Hence why I'm sitting. You'll fight me. Mutaval. Is this the flame of a Normir? Jack knife power bomb you. Yeah, this is magic aids or magic rainbows. Stern scolding. I have been sternly scolded. I have no idea what he's playing. Don't think that he would play a deck as boring as Merc died. And the Mutaval is kind of throwing me off. It's probably some sort of blue-red control deck. And yeah, Mutaval's a wizard. It's also a fairy. It's everything. Am I winning? I definitely wasn't winning earlier. But we're starting to pick up a few more wins now. Yeah, Mutaval's also a jewel. I feel the same. I feel like it's probably a Flame of Norbrew. Maybe I don't even care about that subtlety. Maybe I'm just supposed to hold burn. Stern scoldings are insane. How can I compete? It is fairies. Flash and spell stutters. I mean, it's fairy wizard, so it could be both fairies or wizards. <laughs> Most definitely wizards, though. They queued up into the wizard's mirror. Please, no subtlety, number two. Flame of Anor. Survive, Gigantha. Survive. What's happening? So, every once in a while, the chat gets mad for some reason, and they decide to bing-bong riot. Why? Couldn't tell you, but it usually happens for about 30 seconds to a minute, and then it goes away. But it's usually one person that's like, you know, Dingo is looking awful peaceful over there. I think I might stir the pot and make him upset. And then it usually ends up with me timing out Zeriok and calling it a good day. Right, let's take a draw here. F that guy. I guess I can just animate the mutable, so this is a mistake. Am I gonna play four color in the showcase? Probably. This is a mistake. Minor mistake. To counter this no matter what. That barrier is just something I had to do anyways. Alright, well, you, if you're gonna time out Zeriok for an hour by redeeming to get somebody good, I'll go ahead and do that. The other deck is sweet. Um, I don't know what Lord of the Rings cards I'm going to play yet. Maybe I'll play the One Ring in four color. We'll test that tomorrow or Friday. Today's Wednesday, right? Yeah. We'll test it in the next few days. And we'll see. Halfling's also really good. Yeah, I saw the promos for the next season. That shadow looks really sweet. Offer you can't refuse, it's like whatever. It's not a card that sees play, but that shadow definitely sees play. I'm completely out of resources, by the way. Don't think we're gonna win this game. Yeah, I don't understand Dragon Lord Salumgar. Like, who the f is playing Dragon Lord Salumgar right now? At least make it a good one, like Oshutai. They just had the leftover art, and they're like, all right, might as well reuse this. Force of Negation, absolutely blown out.
Yeah, I don't really understand the offer you can't refuse in Dragonlord Slumgar. I think that shadow's a sweet one to put in there, though. Or how about this? How about we get a Dragon's Rage Channeler promo? Thoughts, Watsy? Huh? DRC? One of the most played cards in modern? Promo? Maybe? Nobody plays DRC. I need to draw two. Oh, I have a wide storm chaser mage. Wide mage happy. Stern scolding number three. Thanks, Quad Isle. They're gonna print Zergo as a promo. Zergo Helm Smasher or Zergo Bell Striker? Afternoon Burn? Bonk? Stern Scolding has been insane. So good against me. I also have Snapcaster Majors. I probably could have inferred. I think I want these spell pierces. Snappy isn't a fairy. I think in the latest Pokemon game they made Snapcaster Mage a fairy type Pokemon. Could be wrong though. Alright, we'll cut on Holy Heat and Anamorphose. Yeah, Spell Stutter counters a third of our deck. Exactly a third. I'm wrong. They didn't make it a fairy type Pokemon. Unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, I saw Mutavolt, Subtlety, Snapcaster, Spell Slutter Sprite. There was really no win condition. Not true. 24 if you count the bubble. Now, Spell Stutter and Stern Scolding are so good against us. They're playing Blue Red Wizards. I'm also playing Blue Red Wizards, but I'm playing like a Prowess variant. Form of the Prowess. Not true. 26 with Spell Pierce. You go to school or do you work? You're watching me work right now. I also work for my family. Nope, no Balmore in this list. Ah, Flavor Noir is okay. Can I give him one lander? I don't really want to keep a one lander. Ship this hand. Playing with Demolik. Is Demolik a wizard? It is a wizard. It's kind of cool. Maybe play it in like Phoenix. The problem is, like, a card like Prismari Command is probably better in Phoenix because it loots. Once you discard. Oh, I did not mean to F6. Oh my god. That was a mistake. I got distracted. Mm, that's bad. It's real bad. I want to draw that. Oops. That might cost me the game. Consider, consider. Not good. Not good. I really need to protect that threat. Well, it would have started with the mutagenic growth on the Soul Scar Mage to protect it. That would have been a good start. But yeah, I think this matchup is pretty abysmal overall. I have a white splash. Snap consider. Now I'm holding a flame of ignore. I can draw two. Don't want to buy elk. Uh, Spell is looking pretty embarrassing though. No, I'm not playing Miscolor. I honestly don't even think I'd do that. I think I want to hold up Spell Pierce. Send in for one. Problem with Miscolor is that it's a 1 1. 
but she gets pinged by Renin Six and dies to everything ever. It's like really only good in Merfolk. Flame of Anor. Ugh, the counter spell pierce. Uh, what a tilt. I survived five damage because I have to mutagenic. What is the norm? Why does that have a flame? I'm sure somebody that knows more about Lord of the Rings lore than me could tell you. Another flame. I think I'm scooping to another flame. Maybe not. This is like a small chance I could still win this. Alright, his flame of a Nordex way better than mine. <laughs> this flame of a Nordex sick. Mine sucks. I'm sure this list is going to come up in a uh, YouTube video in a couple days. This is Magic Aids. They're a YouTuber. They make content. I don't think we're going to get the list from them. <laughs> It'll be on their YouTube in a couple days, I'm sure. Tender. I think Halfling's really good in four color. I'm not sure what the right number is, though. They're also 3 0, so they might end up 5 0 ing. This thing is a wizard. I guess I could snap Iterate. Not that I have hope it's going to resolve. No, they didn't have white in game one. Dude, Stern Scolding's busted. <laughs> Stern Scolding is broken. <laughs> I can't beat that card. Holy moly. I haven't played one myself. Can only base it off of what Spike did, which was not well. As a hammer player, how do you think I feel about Stern Scolding? That card's insane. Against specific decks, I should say. That's not good against every deck. But man, is it good against some creature decks? Stern molding. <laughs> Losing hair over here. Dilly. With the two more. Ah, oh. Thanks, Dilly. Oh, up to 599. Or maybe it hasn't updated for me. And the 600th sub. Ah, oh. Dilly. Thank you for the immense amount of support you've given to this channel who knows how long absolutely insane you're on mac how unfortunate you have become the ultimate viewer the pen ultimate dodged easy dodge i'm playing fair breach i think i'm just gonna go threat threat hope they can't kill both of them This would be a nice spot for having, um... Alright, they're gonna kill both of them. In other news. I need to find another threat. Spell Pierce. Hopefully the last card isn't Breach. If the last card's a Breach, I'm in big trouble. Consider, which could be a Breach. They've been an unholy heat, drew an unknown. Drew an iteration. Best and worst spell pierce art. I like the full art one. This one's the worst. I hate this one. This one's very ugly in my opinion. But I don't think the full art one's that good. Yeah, the OG one's really good. I like the OG one. But Granny spell pierce is uh, it's definitely my jam. And the secret layer one, it's a little bit too goofy for me. Tonight I'm ready to bang bang this pasta, watch some good old fashioned dingo. It's good that you're getting the overtime in. Extra cash money for the flamethrower, baby. There we can truly be in a, live in the American dream. Evidently, part of the American dream is also drawing infinite cards with bubble.
All right, let's divinate. Our sad, sad divination. All right, the invocation one. Ah, the invocation one. It's got cool art, but it's got a really bad border. Yeah, I agree. I think the art's really sick, but the border's really not. I'm also not a fan of Kefnet, though. I never really cared for Kefnet. That's my least favorite of the uh, Amonkhet gods, were they? I'm gonna him connive here. I don't know if that's worth it, but I'm probably gonna have to let him connive at some point. My favorite Dragon Lord is probably Ojitai. I think I played Ojitai the most. Or Tarka. Tarka was sweet too. Yeah, Dragon Lord Freya. We have definitely lost this game. Just outvalued. Now, I think it's kind of ridiculous that they printed the Dragon Lord Slimgar. You actually missed that discourse bamzing. We were talking about that earlier. Like, why the hell did they decide to print Dragon Lord Sal Salumgar as a promo in 2023? That's not an incentive to get people to go out and play. Not even commander players want that card. <laughs> would you have picked Ojitai? I think I probably would have picked um a playable card like Dragon's Rage Channeler. Hot take, I know. Hot take. I'm in the music and broke the music. I don't think I want these Manamorphos. True, it's not playable in Pioneer. What's a Pioneer staple that doesn't have a promo? How about Graveyard Trespasser? I guess it's not really a Pioneer staple anymore. How about Bone Crusher Giant? How about, like, I don't know, anything other than fucking Salumgar? I got these Manamorphoses. It triggers the Ledger Shredder, so I'm not, like, super keen on them would have been a nice promo that's too expensive we can't be spewing third party economy money like that keep this in this I think it's hinting a return to Tarkir I hope so Tarkir was by far my favorite set favorite plane I guess Ravnica was pretty sweet too maybe it's Ravnica and Holy Heat and Eldritch Evolution were great promos and then they were just like the Lumgar <laughs> being in the ice was like I think they could have done better on Thing in the Eyes. They would make the showcase frame for Tarkir because of the grayscale meme. That'd be ideal, right? Like Zendikar without Eldrazi's. I got bad news for you. That's all of Zendikar. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I get it. You know, fun fact. I actually got banned in the Star City Games chat for abbreviating Thing in the Eyes to TITI. Fun fact, please play Ledger Shredder. Don't bolt it. Mm. Yep, straight up ban me. <laughs> straight up, they're just like, alright, that's it, you're done. Get out of here. Yeah, we talked about the wizard deck last night, Jeremy. Hope you're happy. Romadino Snapcaster. Ah, ah, ah. No, I just can't keep any thread around. At least I'm drawing cards. Dos los banditos. <laughs> De los banditos. Yep. Just want a threat to stick around. Is that too much to ask for? Evidently it is. Yeah, I'll be there by tomorrow, Jeremy. Don't worry. And now they get my threat, too? Hmm. Pog? Pog jam? 
maybe I'm supposed to love it out then. Honestly, I think it's worth it just to go like Soul Scar Mage into Flame of Anur. Cast two modes. Draw two. Murder Ledger Shredder. When they connive Ragavan into the graveyard. Soul Scar Flame. Damn, that's a sick name. Wide Ledger Shredder. Ending. Camp sh it to stick around. Anything. Please, opponent. I want to keep a threat in this economy. I guess we gotta go Snap Flame. Snap Flame, baby. two lands. Well, I'm dead. I'm actually just dead because they get to the bobble and trigger prowess infinite times. Funny, you show up and get breached. This is your fault. Yeah, snap flame like Roy Mustang. My opponent must be lost. It's not a breach card. Might be something to it. Sometimes chat calls you son and sometimes they call you dad. Yeah. That's chat for you. Well, I mean, they're only drawing like six cards, you know. What could go wrong? And sometimes they call me brother. Brother. The less lovable dingo. Oh, good. Another fetch. Excellent. It's exactly what I needed. How do I know you're not... How do I know you're real and not a simulation? Well, simulations have advanced far beyond my IQ, so... Maybe they don't pay. They didn't pay. Simulations flood too. Damn. True. That's a keeper. Zerlock too? Man came back with a different account. That's crazy. Absolutely insane. Jeremy banned Zerlock too. <laughs> Imagine. Just coming back. Different account. Now you got timed out for an hour because somebody redeemed. Get him good. So he was gotten good. And now he was gotten good for ban evasion. You gotta pay your dues in this chat. Didn't Janini with the un unban into the ban immediately? That's crazy. The power of the sword is intoxicating. What are the new cards in this one? Flame of Anor. Flame of Anor. I just kill this. Probably. I think it's a little bit better than going face here. <laughs> Using your wife's email. I would ask him to confirm or deny, but he's banned now, so we'll never know. Hey, y'all aren't single? That can't be right. How much longer does he have? Probably another, like, 10 minutes. I think it's already been close to an hour. Uh, 
lightning bolt, lightning bolt, lightning bolt, lightning bolt. Um, I guess I bolt here, attack him for four. By a Giganto. Really use like a flame of Anor here. Would have been quite good. Spell bomb. Reach. Not very cash money, view opponent. Impressive iteration. Janini removed the ban on Zerlock. Reach Cascade Ren. Hey, yeah, pretty much nailed it. And Merc died occasionally. Rather a Flame of Anor here. Come on, Flame of Anor. I haven't ran into Hammer. I guess I ran into Hammer like yesterday. But Hammer's not very common anymore. Not nearly as much as it used to be. I'll kill you. They blocked. Blocking, a coward's move. Murktide feels like the good guy. Sometimes, yeah. I think on average, most of the time, I'd be like, I kind of want to run into Murktide. <laughs> I'd rather play against Murktide than a lot of the other decks out in the format right now. Lethal Demolition. <laughs> that killed me. I don't know who's killing this. They're one artifact, sure. Alright, what do we want? Shattering Spree? Probably fine. We we'll cut one iteration. Uh, Bobble. I don't want Spell Pierce. I guess Spell Pierce is good against, like, Lethal Demolition. I think I want the Flame of Anor. Manamorphos has also been my go-to cut. I'm gonna cut two Manamorphoses and... I don't like Mutagenic. We'll cut a Snapcaster. Four colors miserable to play against. That's why I choose to play the four color, so I'm not miserable playing against the four color. But I generally don't mind four color too much. I'm gonna keep this one lander against my better judgment. Big bonks. Give me a Merc type matchup any day with Hammer. Every opportunity for them to screw up. Meanwhile, I'm just jamming the best spells in my hand. They have to sweat every play. Yeah, like, if you play Hammer into Merc Tide, they have to play, like, perfectly. If they don't play perfectly, you usually just get a free win. You're just like, oops, slipped a uh, Hammer on my Esper Sentinel. Good luck. GLHF opponent. Dingo needs a new pair of lands. Notably not a new pair of lands. Deer Sizzle. The RC matching percentage tables. Eh, I feel like they're always not super representative of... How most of the matchups go. Ah, that, that, that fucking lightning bolts. So I think there's a lot of, like, F&M players that show up to a degree. That maybe make the percentages not so accurate. No flame. Absolutely no flame. But I think you know what I'm saying. I'm getting absolutely destroyed. For example, I saw, like, Scam versus Rhinos being, like, 29% win rate for scam and i'm like scam definitely has the tools to defeat rhinos well some decks are harder than the other others right like rhinos are very easy very very easy to play i was like i don't think i've ever struggled with rhinos that badly with the hotashi tweet about rhinos you play rhinos you're carried end of story I mean, I've died to, I'm sure I've died to Rhinos a lot, but I'm, like with Scam in particular, I don't think it's that bad of a matchup. I would definitely have like 
more than a 29% win rate against them. Obviously variance and all that, but... Sometimes I just feel like they're not super representative of what actually... How the matchups are actually spread out. I'm not saying that I'm, like, better... Anything like that. Sometimes the numbers just confuse me. It just makes me want to, like, know what happened during the games. Alright, let's take the Swifty. I don't think it really matters what order I do this in. I have a Ragster on top. I think okay, I don't care if they dash that. Although I suppose they could kill me. If they have like Dash Rogavon. Nah, Bind Trap, no blast. Kill my guy into the Ragster. The Gleeful Demolition. Might be a little bit behind here now. Merfolk has like a 15% win rate versus Amulet, like 70 plus against it. Yeah. It's just things like that that just don't make a ton of sense to me. Like... Sometimes I just wonder, I'm like, where did this person go wrong? Or where did these players go wrong against, like, this particular matchup? I think I trade off here, unfortunately. We're talking about, like, the uh, regional championship, like, table data for the Swiss rounds. Sometimes it's really skewed. I guess they're going to kill me here, huh? The person that posts the data charts. All right. Not so good. Womp womp. Ended up 2-3. Uh... I don't know. Have you peaked? Bing bong, bing bong, bing bing bong. Have you peaked? You're a third-rate duelist. I can't take it anymore.